Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day 25 of the 31 Days of Horror. DBougie86 here again. That's right, peeps. And today I actually have a film from 2013, which is actually, you know, kind of ironic that it's a sequel to a 2005 movie. And this was actually a first time watch for me. Uh,. I am actually a big fan of the first one of this series, and I was very happy to finally have a chance to sit down and check out the sequel, and that is Wolf Creek 2. Yeah, uh, directed by Greg McLean and uh, starring the legendary John Jarrett as Mick Taylor. Uh, yeah, I've been. I, it's been weird. It's kind of weird why I haven't seen this one. It's something that I think I would have sucked, seeked out if that makes any sense. And it's just, you know, it's been pricey for a while. And, you know, every time I usually go to try to pick up either the DVD or Blu-ray of this movie, it's usually out of print or out of stock or going for, like, an insanely expensive price in some of the circles that I usually shop on. But I finally got a copy for a good price. And, you know... A DVD I'm happy with. I like DVD. It's whatever. But, uh, yeah, Wolf Creek 2 kind of surprised the shit on me for a sequel. First off, we get this awesome cold opening scene where we're reintroduced to Mick, and it's pretty fucking rad. I don't really want to give a lot of it away if you haven't seen this movie before, but it's pretty fucking awesome, and it's indicts his character to a whole no level. Now, then it sets up, uh, you know, this group of hitchhikers, this two couple go hitchhiking there. I think they're from Germany, I believe. And, you know, they end up going to Wolf Creek Crater, of course, and they get picked up by Mick, and, you know, and then we introduce kind of our secondary character for most of the movie. Uh, Paul, played by uh, Ryan Kaur, who, uh, is kind of like a it kind of feel bad for him because he's just driving to his location and you know he gets put into this night of hell this whole ordeal of hell pretty much when mick crosses his hairs and you know it's kind of an interesting concept because pretty much what the rest of the movie details is it's kind of like a cat and mouse game between these two characters and I like that aspect of it. It's actually a very interesting way to take a sequel. But it makes sense because Mick is a charismatic killer. I like that aspect about him. He's very smart and intellectual. And he likes to have conversations with his prey, per se, to speak. And, you know, it's an actually interesting layer to add this guy who could actually talk back to Mick and kind of question the morals of Mick Taylor as a human and a monster, in a sense. And I always like that aspect. Now, the film, fucking vastly beautiful. The, you know, every time I watch one of these, like, Australian horror or Ausploitation films, I am blown away by the scenery of Australia as a country in its own right. And the outback itself is very fucking awesome looking. I love the cinematography of this movie. Uh, very, like, you can see, like, the differences between this and the original Wolf Creek, where this one feels more cinematic, in a sense, where the first movie was very down and dirty in its message. But uh, it still had some great cinematography, the first movie, not taking anything away from it. Uh, you know, it really fucking, like, amped up the kills, too, you know. It has, like, that amped up violence in this one, too, where you expect to a sequel. Where fucking, you know, Mix is playing when he's just cutting up a dude, sawing him in half and shit. Oh, here's the heart, you know, like, ah, crikey. You know, it's fucking great. His, John Jarrett has some great one-liners in this movie. And, you know, the final few minutes of the movie, the, the final cat and mouse moments of it, fucking great between him and uh, Ryan, you know, uh, our, uh, what's his name in the movie? Paul, Paul's character in the movie. Fucking really great, intense moments, and you don't know what's exactly going to happen within it. And it leads to some really fucking fucked up shit. 
Uh, Wolf Creek 2 is a fun ride. You know, it has some spotty CGI in it that kind of does hurt in some aspects, even though I kind of really like that scene. Let's just say there's a flying kangaroo in this movie. <laughs> That's all I'll give away. But it, it's a fun ride, you know. It's fucking great. Uh, fucking awesome shit. If you haven't seen Wolf Creek 2 and you're a big fan of the first one, like I am, Jeff, check it out. And, you know, I even like the TV series. I actually watched the TV series before I even watched the sequel before that. You know, it, and I'm happy. I'm happy I did, you know. Fucking finally, great movie. Fucking love it. If I had to rate it, gonna give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Really enjoy the sequel for what it is. Fucking fun ride, man. Awesome shit. Wolf Creek 2. Check it out. All right, guys. That's it for day 25. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, awesome shit. And I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you guys. So see you then. Peace out.